Hello friends, so in the previous session we saw multiplication of two numbers near 100 but those two numbers were less than 100, isn't it? Now this is case 2 where we are going to uh, multiply two numbers which are both of which are greater than 100. Okay, so here we go. So let's take the first example. It is very similar to what we discussed in the previous video. Okay, so let's say we have to multiply 1 not uh, 3 2 1 not 7 okay these are the two numbers both of them are greater than 100 but both of them are close to 100 as well okay now how away from 100 it is in in the previous case when we were taking 97 and 98 and all that we was we were finding out how how far or you know how close 100 number was from the given number here how how much far is this number 1 not 3 from 100 so you write plus 3 so you know so 103 minus 100 is plus 3 now how much how far is 107 from 100 so plus 7 okay and the process is same now you multiply plus 3 to plus 7 is 21 and do either of these operations either you do 103 plus 7 or you do 107 plus 3 in both cases you will get 110 so just simply write 110 so the product of 103 and 107 is 11021 okay you can verify by actual multiplication so this was example number one let's take another example to verify this works or not yes so uh, let's say we have another close number 104 and let's say 108 okay you are multiplying these two numbers how far again plus 4 and plus 8 so again you now know 8 times 4 is 32 operate this so 104 plus 8 is 112 right so hence it is 11232 okay so this is the product likewise okay now let's take a case where the the end units place uh, these units place product is not leading to two digit number only one digit number is is occurring okay so such case could be let's say 101 times 103 okay you have to multiply these two number okay so what do you need to do? just check how far it is from 100 1 this is 3 okay plus both of them so the product is 1 times 3 only 3 right but then you have to write 0 okay 0 right so why is this 0 guys so it is it is being decided by number of zeros after 1 so if it is 2 then we have to work with pair of digits all the time so whatever you are getting we have to take the last two digits okay so 0 3 now what to do same thing 101 plus 3 or 103 plus 1 so it's 104 so the product guys is 104 Zero 03. Now you don't need to write all this while you are practice or while you are actually calculating it. Once you get the practice done, once you are very you know fluent in all of this, so you don't need to even write it. You can do it mentally and write the product directly. Okay, another one, one not two, and let's say one not four. Okay, now what is this? Plus two and plus four, distance from hundred away from hundred, right? So two and four is eight, but you have to write zero eight. And then 102 plus 4 is 106. Correct? So this is the product. Now another case could be that the, the product of the units place, what you are doing right now, that is, you know, you know, you are just multiplying this and you get three digit instead of one or two. Then what to do? We have seen in the previous case, we can take a carry. Okay, so example would be let's say you are doing 108 and 115. You want to multiply this correct so how far it is from 108 plus 8 and this is plus 15 isn't it now if you multiply 8 and 15 you will get 120 but you have to take only two last digits so 20 so one will be simply carry okay so like write like that and then you do simply again do the same thing 115 plus 8 is 123 isn't it and now that 123 plus this one is 124 so the product is 12420. I hope you understood this. Okay, okay, guys. Now, another one I can take is let's say, yeah, 109. Let's take another example. So, 109 and 112. So, it is plus 9 away from 100, plus 12 away from 100. 12 nines are 108. So, you have to write only 08. And there is a carry here. And then 
you do this calculation 112 plus 9 is 121 isn't it 112 plus 9 is 121 plus this one is 122 so this is the product 12208 okay so i'm not doing any conventional techniques now it might be appearing to be time taking while i'm explaining because i'm explaining a little slowly but when you are fluent you know when you have done lots of practice you can do it mentally and find the product of these two numbers so this is for second case where the numbers are just above 100 in the next session we'll see if the number if there are two numbers to be multiplied one is below 100 and one is above 100 